Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Self Engineer K here. Today we've got some awesome stuff to go through. We're going to be touching on the VV Art Show. So that's an event organized by the VV Ecomi community to raise awareness of it and also get everyone involved in an artistic way for some really cool prizes. I do want to touch a bit on that. Um, and we're also going to be going through some of the updates in Q1, what we've already accomplished, what we have left, um, along with the collectibles for Q1. I did also have a thought that occurred to me yesterday from when I covered the interview by Taps Trades. So do check that out if you have not checked that out already. But it occurred to me with regards to the upgradable NFTs, that is something that I wanted to share with you guys. And also I did want to go through um, our daily price analysis as well as a wrap up. So without further ado, um, I do want to jump straight into the VV Art Show that I've got here. So this has about two days and 10 hours, 17 minutes left um, at time of recording. I'm recording this video earlier today just because I will be busy in the evening. So um, I do want to share this with you guys now. Um, so it's organized by these guys here. So most of you probably know them if you're involved in the Komi community. So Tiger Wilson, Staying Alpha, Taps Trades, VV Agent 3 and Stonks V2. So definitely check them out. Um, they're always sharing some really great content. You can see the poster here. This is really cool, whoever designed this. Um, We've got some of the confirmed um, collectibles, all, you know, fan-made. Um, so I believe there are two categories. There's the AR shot. So if you're not an artist, but you've got the app and some collectibles, then, you know, you can take some AR photos, which is pretty cool, make them creative. I've seen some really funny ones already. Um, and then we've got VV Freestyle. I believe this is the uh, drawing one. So um, digital artwork or handmade, whatever. Um, there are surprises confirmed as well. Um, so... These are pretty cool. I do want that Jim Lee Joker, but I'm not an artist myself, so maybe I'll just YOLO something in paint. Um, and for here, sec first and second prizes for the VR AR shots are not confirmed, but so VV AR shots, but VV themselves, they have um, donated to the event, I believe. So they're supporting as well, um, which is really, really cool. Um, really nice of them. Um, but definitely check it out. So they, there are some submissions shared on Twitter already that I had a look at. So this is pretty cool. We've got the Stay Puffed guy. Um, so someone made a um, Ghostbusters one already. This is really nice. Um, we've got some of the AR shots as well. So we've got um, full Power of Puff set. Um, we have, you know, so <laughs> the rocket ship and moon. Um, yeah, we've got we've got some good stuff. This is really cool. DeLorean with the fire coming out. Um, so definitely check it out. Like there is some great artwork on here. So that's the other thing I want to touch on now with regards to Q1. Now we had um, some confirmed um, features that were well, some confirmed features that were looking to be released in Q1. So we're just going to go through what we've covered really so far and what we have left. So firstly, we have photo editing for your collectibles. Now, I don't think photo editing is enabled yet. If it is, then I've never seen it or I've just never bothered um, trying to look for it. But, you know, it would be like Instagram from what I can see. You have filters, you can crop, edit, etc. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like you can like write and, you know, draw things on it as well. So I think that's going to be nice for you know, the social media side of it, sharing edit collectibles um and showroom visual impair, uh, improvements i think they've done this as well um i believe this is going to be an ongoing thing anyway that always going to be improving the showroom um now this is really cool um i never really actually put a lot of attention in focusing into this but i had a look at this again and it really you know got me a bit more interested because first if we zoom into this um in the center we have the collectible from Monster Hunter Iceborne. Um, and this, I believe, is going to be animated as well. So it's going to be our, one of our first animated NFTs. Um, we can see the NFTs for Cryptozoic Cryptkins as well. Um, so these aren't released yet, but I never really paid attention to this. Uh, so I never really saw what they looked like. Um, and then in the corner there, we can see some artwork. Now, I can't really tell too well what that is. For some reason, it just made me think of Adventure Time because of the yellow, um, yellow and pink, like Lemon Grab from Adventure Time. And then we've got some artwork here. I have no idea what that's for. Um, and in the back, I can see a Batmobile now. I don't think we have a Batmobile NFT. So maybe that's something that you get as a reward for the Master Collector program. You get rewarded with a Batmobile. Um, who knows? But you can see, I can see that the main um, thing I wanted to share with, with this was the kind of upgrades to your showroom. So. These, I think, are like the basic pedestals. Um, I think they're going to be upgraded at pedestals as well, depending on what kind of collectibles you're after. So, you know, themed ones, maybe like a Mermicorn or, I don't know, Mermicorn or Fountain or something like we said. So, yeah, we're going to have displays, nature, some more scenery. Um, that would be nice. Um, 
dumpsters, fences, walls, building. So that would be cool as well. More themes to your showroom and indoor lighting, plants, furniture, all that stuff as well. Um, multiple collectibles in AR. So we know that's coming so you can take um, pictures with multiple Ultramen. So that's going to be nice as well. I know other AR apps like Pokemon Go, for example, they have released multiple um, kind of multiple AR pictures. Um, and they have a feature where you can connect to someone else's phone and have your collectibles and their collectibles in the same AR photo. That technology exists now. So you can have group photos with your collectibles and someone else's ones. And if they've got upgraded ones that are different to yours, you know, there's like endless customizability going on. Like it's really, really cool. Um, sharing feed, so we've got that. Security improvement, so we've got 2FA now. Biometrics, I believe, is coming soon, um, as well as pin codes. And the VV web platform. So, yeah, this is a fair one because not everyone has phones that support um, the AR aspect. So having, you know, a web uh, web app for supporting that as well, I think that's really good. Um, they're just kind of covering all their bases here. Um, in terms of collectibles for Q1, so um, we do know that we have had the Harley Quinn ones, um, Back to the Future has been done. Um, Cryptkins, we haven't had this, but from the previous picture that you saw, we saw that they were um, there were some models for that already, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not too familiar with Cryptozoic Cryptkins, but you know, I'm sure there's a huge fan base, and I'll probably go for it as well. Um, Ghostbusters, we know Series 1 and Series 2 is confirmed from the uh, Jeffries conference, so that is really, really cool. Um, Monster Hunter World, and this is one that I'm really, really excited for because I really enjoy Monster Hunter. This is going to be huge in Asia, the Asian market. Um, and from the Jeffries conference, we also saw Monster Hunter Iceborne was confirmed as well. Um, so that is going to be amazing. Now, um, I know we have had some that have been announced that aren't on this list. So like Mermicornos, Unicornos, for example. So I think they are going to be adding some that aren't that weren't like planned in here specifically, just ad hoc. But generally, these are the ones that we do want to. Uh, expecting Q1 um, Ultraman. So we had two different types of Ultraman drops, the Rise of Ultraman artworks and Series 1 as well. Um, now, lastly, what I want to touch on before the price analysis is um, from yesterday's video with Taps Trade, they covered um, upgradable NFTs. And it made me think because for those of you who weren't aware, um, when the DeLorean came out, it was drivable uh, for a little bit. And here you can see in the top, it says one out six, or one one to six inch uh or was it like one six scale delorean interactive common um and you can see that they're driving it here and it was confirmed that it was drivable now if we have a delorean drop in the future where these are available it doesn't make sense to me why would they have created those assets now when they have so many other things to prioritize i mean they've got endless amounts of things does it make sense for them to be prioritizing you know making drops for like q3 unless and this is what got me unless that feature was part of this asset and it's something that you can turn on and off as an upgrade and that got me thinking now this is purely speculation so do take what, what i say with a pinch of salt but i think that the drivable feature is an upgrade for these common deloreans and if so if that comes in the future um as you know something confirmed because it doesn't make sense for them to have the interactive DeLorean and then a separate DeLorean that looks exactly the same, that's drivable. I think, um, and that also does not get me to think that maybe that's why they also released so many versions of it. I know they said it's because they wanted everyone to have one, but I think this is going to be one of the first upgrades that we see, that one of the first collectibles we see that is upgradable. Because when I kind of connect the dots, the fact that they removed this so fast, um, I think it must have been something that's like a, a Boolean switch where you just switch it on and off as an upgrade um, as opposed to a completely different asset because it still doesn't make sense to me. Why would they made an asset that they're going to be releasing our way after Q1 when they've got so many other things to prioritize? Um, so if true, I think the price of the common DeLorean is going to go up because right now it's going for dirt cheap. I've seen them going for less than the list price. Like there have been DeLoreans selling for like 27, 28 gems when it was listed for 30. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, but again, do take what I say with a pinch of salt. Last year, price analysis. So, um, on the hourly chart now, um, or four hourly chart, let's go to the hourly chart. So we can see here that we did break the downtrend um, in response to the news from the Roger and Cohen partnership. So that is pretty good. Um, but we are continuing the downtrend today just because I believe it's not the announcement that people uh, expected. And like I said, guys, everyone who was saying, you know, Pokemon coming, uh, you know, 
all of these things you have to take it as speculation um don't take it as something that's fact because unless it's confirmed by ecomi it's not fact so this is why i always say you know ecomi is doing the right thing they're under promising and over delivering um you know all of these things like big announcement in april blah 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 all of this stuff it is it wasn't official right it, like we know we do know that there was a big announcement but you know we don't know if it was official or not so definitely follow keep up to date with ecomi's official social medias as well um but like i said i do see us continuing the downtrend i see us trading sideways in this range for a while um if we just go to the four hourly chart now what i see here is i don't see us leaving this range for a while um we can see here now that we've got more data this makes a lot more sense so we can see that within this range we touched the support we came up to resistance we came back down uh, touched support, broke it, and then continued, uh, hung around the support, and then hit the resistance, and then came back down again. And you can see that we're just trading in this range. So I think if you're buying near these levels here at the bottom, um, that's a safe place to buy because I don't see us breaking down anytime soon below this, unless Bitcoin, you know, something happens to Bitcoin and the whole market dumps. Um, coming back up to this range, I believe this is possible uh, next month. Um, as more people adopt and Roger and Cohen, once they kind of get on top of the marketing, bring it to the mainstream, I think we're gonna definitely see some more adoption. And we've seen some huge, huge um, adoption recently from going from 10,000 users to a quarter of a million users in about a month. So that is massive. So I will definitely keep you guys updated with anything else I find out. But as always guys, please do like and subscribe to support the content and I'll keep you guys updated with anything I find out and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.